Growing up at the race shop, it was just a natural instinct that I wanted to go fast. The bike is like a missile. It just wants to go as fast as it can in a straight line. My dad instilled in me early on that if you really want to know what's happening on the run, you need to understand how you put it together. The tuning is 95% of what goes into making a motorcycle go fast. And the rider is the other 5%. I got into motorcycle racing because it was kind of in my blood. Byron Hines is my father. He and Terry Vance founded Vance and Hines back in 1980, making motorcycle aftermarket exhaust systems and doing performance kits for your street bikes and things like that. The first professional race, I was 19. That was not long after my birthday. And there was so much expectation with my brother having won three championships, my father being known in the sport so well. At one point, I was the youngest champion ever in NHRA. We have a very tight-knit group that's worked together for so long that if you see us putting a motorcycle together, it's not constant chaos. Everybody knows their position at that point because there's times on a race day we have to change engines. It's got to be done in less than 35 minutes. Ten years ago, we were trying to find, you know, five, six, seven, eight horsepower. Right now, we're talking about trying to pick up one or two horsepower. We're experiencing G-forces that are so extreme, you think, what the heck am I doing? Should I even be on this thing? Then the drag racer comes out in you. You strap your helmet on, the bike fires up, everything gets blurry, you get tunnel vision, and you're focused on one point down the racetrack trying to get there as quick as possible. All this is happening while you're trying to let go of a clutch have the throttle wide open, you're shifting gears because it's accelerating through an RPM range that's higher than what the production motorcycles even come with for a red line. So the engine's screaming underneath you, your senses are in complete overload. We have less than seven seconds to get that wind light. 